Hey guys, as you see, I'm on my channel here. Just some egg dying aftermath going on. See what we got, these little guys in here. All oh, these little guys. Are they the cutest? Are you that one? This little guy right here. Little smiley face guy. So that's how our Easter has started off. So why don't you guys uh comment what's your favorite color of Easter egg is? That's all I got. Do you guys die eggs? My family always did. Okay guys, so they've been watching Criminal Minds a lot. And when we were making eggs earlier, they made a Morgan Garcia Reed egg. Well, like most of the members of, if you've ever watched Criminal Minds. So I'm making deviled eggs right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go and tell them that, <laughs> that it's Morgan and Garcia or something like that. I don't know if that's me, but we'll see what they do. <laughs> So there you see, that's Garcia, Morgan, and Reed in there, in the back. So, no, I did not cook them. <laughs> or no, I did not make deviled eggs out of them, but let's see what they think. Well, I'm gonna eat this one. <laughs> and they can eat Morgan and Garcia. It went off exactly how I thought it would, with a mid-chew, like, huh? <laughs> oh, gosh. I think I'm funny sometimes. This one's gonna cook like fast as it's gonna be hot. Ooh. Holy, that grease is hot. Come on. Can you turn that down? That's hot. Ooh, you might wanna back up there, babe. Backing up. So I'm using the Taco shell holder that you made me for the first time. Uh, hopefully it works. Are you worried that it's not gonna work? A little bit, yeah. Look at the melts. Fingers crossed. I think it worked. What do you think? So far, so good. Last plate. Bye. All right, all right, go get everybody for dinner. Let them know. Everybody come here for dinner now! Julian. I could have done that. Now! No. Don't go get everybody for dinner, please. Seriously, goofball. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Teenagers. Like, seriously. All right, guys. I know it's, uh, you know, not the grandest of meals, but we thought we'd make it fancy with some candlelight and, um... Tacos and rice. And Look at all this good food, guys. Time to eat our tacos. Looks like the uh, taco shell holders are still working. Swing. Swing. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should be doing. All right, so now, yep, and now give me the ball. Watch that ball hit that bat. You're not worried about where the ball's going. You're worried about where it hits you on the bat. Hit the bat with it. Ready? Swing. Nice. Same thing. Swing. Do you feel the difference? Okay, guys. I've read all your comments. I appreciate everything you wrote. But i can't take it anymore so i'll take in consideration what you guys have said that my hair's okay long but this is it when i don't do anything to it so i'll start with the sides and then i'll think about the top so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be nerve-wracking so let's give it a shot all right guys so uh, here <laughs> Here goes nothing.
I'm not going to show you yet, but I can tell you that I've been in this bathroom an embarrassing amount of time. Uh, I was so nervous, I shaved first, and then I was like, oh, it's, no, it's time. So it was like I was trying to delay it. I mean, here's the, the aftermath. See, look, I did not cut that much. Mostly from the sides. I didn't even really touch. I didn't touch the top. I shouldn't say I didn't really. So here it is. I know, it, I can tell, I know it's not perfect, but it's, I don't think you guys realize how it being on my ears was like completely bugging me. I'm going to try to show you guys from behind. I haven't really seen from behind. Yeah, I know. It's not the most perfect, but for a quarantine haircut, it's the way to go. So literally... So this is what I finished off with at the bottom, which is the two. So, corn haircut. All right, that's it. Oh my gosh, now I gotta clean this up. I'll, I'm gonna pull this out. I mean, I don't know about the top. Tell me what you guys think. You know, I, I didn't want, I was too scared today. But tell me if you think it's, I could take, I don't know, I'm scared. Cause the clippers are one thing, I don't know. Like the clippers in the back, I basically, you know, I use the mirror, um, but I don't know, like cutting my hair with scissors, I just don't know if I have the dexterity. I don't know if I can like pull it and cut it. Like with the clippers, if you can reach it, you can cut it. So I just don't even know, but tell me what you think if I should do the, try to do the top, but I mean, it's not bad. I, mean, I know it's, it's not, you know, it's not barbershop, but it's not terrible, so don't make fun of me too much. Okay, seriously, Billy? Quarantine haircut, but you couldn't clean the sink? Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to change this door and tell you why. See how right now I go to walk in and I'm like, oh, I gotta get the clothes. And it's like, kapunk. So then I have to go over here, and those are dryer sheets because I'm obsessed with them, sorry. Um, so it's on the wrong side, it's always in the way. So by the time I take the clothes out like this, it's like, now I'm carrying clothes and then I have to go around with a bunch of clothes. It's really just kind of annoying. So I looked at this and I saw that it has the parts on both sides. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot and try to change this out. And hopefully I can do it without Billy catching me because either, uh, what if I break it? Or, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want him to blame me. Or I can, he'll be happy and surprised and impressed, I don't know. All of those things. What are you doing? You want me to tell you what I was doing? Yeah, he did. Why are you changing the doors? <laughs> Well, I had to. Remember I told you it makes sense this way. And I didn't want to ask you to do it. So I just thought I'd do it. Okay. Are you proud of me? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, you might need a hand tighten this one, Billy, because Ooh, I hope that's not stripped. That would be bad. It's right. not going to strip. It won't strip. Looks good to me. I should make sure it works. One, two, three. Shout out video. A little flashback there. And so I'm doing a shout out video, obviously. And the first shout out goes to I'm a the one. And I put her information, I'm assuming it's her from the picture, right here. And in the description, you should be able to get to the links to go follow and subscribe to her. And right there in the eye, you should be able to do the same thing. So, her suggestion. In these times of ultimate unknowing that there might be a point in this apocalypse that uh, we have to eat things that we wouldn't normally want to eat. And her suggestion is, I give my shot 
at dog food. I don't want to do this, but as promised, it's a shout out video. But as promised, it's a shout out video. And I am going to see how horrible it would be if all we had left to eat is dog food. This particular dog food is um, blue. It is chicken dinner and garden vegetables. If this was on a can that didn't say dog food, I might really want to eat. dog food here's the thing with these things so it's like it's so gelatinous like it's just like one solid block it's not like it's like a soup or whatever I'm a one who did this like I said go follow her only love all right here we go Not good. It's like that's making my tear my eyes tear up. So it's like processed meat with the ground bits of dog food in it. Um, it's got like a pungent flavor to it. It's not something that we can. Uh, Duh, so you just uh, uh, anyone eat ever. Like, if you're starving to death, sure, but oh, not good. All right, that's it, guys. I can't, I can't do it. Like, one bite was hope that satisfied the shout out. It was just eat dog food, and I tried it, <coughs> fill my mouth. Thanks for the suggestion, everybody. Go follow I'm a Dom. I'm a, uh, <laughs> everybody go follow I'm a da one and uh, links below and in the eye. Whoa.